No, all right. How's it going, guys? Carson here. We got some crazy unboxing action from that Spider-Man booth. So I've got two boxes to unbox. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll get a giant size X-Men number one. That's why I bought these two boxes. Uh, I didn't come alone today. I've got two experts. And they're going to tell you what these that Spider-Man booth boxes are all about. First off, with eight boxes to unbox today, we've got Comic Spectre. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? This uh, Man, I'm happy to be here. And holy crap. Um, I was really surprised when... I, I had four boxes show up, I think it was on Monday, and then I had another four boxes show up yesterday, and then as we discussed off-air, um, there's another four boxes that are supposed to be here uh, Friday afternoon, so I have I'm two. just... You do you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it's like they're finally catching up with all the shipping, yeah. so I don't even remember like what some of the stuff is from. I'm, I'm just like, okay. Uh, I only sweet. remember my last order. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, oh, okay. but... Yeah, it's uh, it's been uh, been waiting on these for a while. Happy that I finally got them, and you know, I've I've done a line of uh, live unboxings uh, for these before, and um, I think that they're really good. Um, you know, you, you always get get at least that that one book that uh, really makes makes the box, and then you usually get some uh, nice filler books too. But um, all in all, I would say that the the overall quality of the boxes are great and the comic books themselves are always like near mint plus, you know, so it's not like you're getting like beat up garbage in the boxes. So I'm always happy with what I got. Nice. All right. Next up, he's got seven boxes today to go through <laughs> another X. He's the guy who got me sucked into all this. <laughs> with that Spider-Man booth. We got who that comics and movies. What's going on, man? What's up? I think I got everybody who's yeah. actually on YouTube as all them. <laughs> Cause I mean, I'll, I'll, I've ordered from these guys before they started doing the online stuff. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But, yeah, I got seven. Like you said earlier, I think they caught up on all of their stuff because yeah. it, just, it just started coming, coming, coming. I was like, I don't even remember, like, you know, at least the four. But, uh, and I don't remember what the last two are coming on Friday. <laughs> They're catching up on everything. So, that's, I mean, that's actually very good. And very kind of yeah. crazy. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to see how it goes. And uh, I mean, with the amount of boxes we have, at least one of us should get a grand prize. <laughs> no, I would <laughs> hope so. Hopefully well, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we got some cool people in the chat. So three of my favorites, actually. I want to get to the chat real quick. First first guy, we got Mr. Gretzky, 9966. What's going on, man? He's always in my chat saying hi. So I always appreciate seeing you, Gretzky. And it looks like he's this guy's came with the new catchphrase. He says, YouTube is 90. A la Chris Jericho. We got Chad from 90 MF Comics, my partner in Turtle Crime, besides Who Dad, of course. He got me into those turtle books. I've read them all. I'm very happy he did. So Who Dad, by the way, I'm caught up on turtles now. So it's very good. Uh very good. Yeah, we got Chad <laughs> from 90 MF Comics. And we got my first subscriber ever. Big thanks for the recommendation, man. He says, hit that thumbs up button. We got Fish Tropic in the chat. Uh, always like seeing Fish. Uh, hopefully he's still collecting comics here and there besides the whole fish tank hobby, which is super cool. So uh, definitely check out his stuff. If you want to see something a little bit different uh, than you used to in our comic book community, at least. Next up, this guy has an awesome live show he does where he, he basically just recommends like five people you need to subscribe to that are 500 subscribers. So... Uh, he's got a cool show going on. Just a Rican and his comics. He says, yo, Rod is in the house. What's going on? Just a Rican. Always like seeing you in the chat. So big shout out to you. So the way we're going to do this, guys, basically we're just going to all three open the first one together. Uh, we'll probably just show one book at a time. And then I'll sit the bench and let these two guys show like six boxes. <laughs> and then I guess on seven, we'll just do one grand hurrah. And then the epilogue of all this will be another Comic Spectre box opening. So, uh, I I'll be honest, since I only had two, I, I had this this weird curiosity. I like, I got I had my shipping scale sitting next to me. I'm like, I'm going to weigh these boxes because why not? Uh, mm -hmm. So this first one was 1.2 ounces. And my second one... A little bit heavier, 1.59 ounces. Mm. So I'm either maybe I'm either getting the giant size or I'm getting another copy of that Unicron book. We'll find out today. But before we get started, one more shout out. We got the great legend in the chat. One of my 
absolute all-time favorites in the YouTube combo community. How's it going, Great Ledge? He says, back to work. Good luck, guys. So big thanks for the share, Great Legend. I appreciate that. So without further ado, there we go. I thought I was going to like rip it open at first. Let's go ahead and see. I'll get book number one going here. I'm not looking. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's cool. Oh. It's like $25 <laughs> Wolverine Virgin variant. So that's real nice. Yeah. Awesome. So I have no idea what this book is, but it's a cool Addy Granoff variant cover. So really awesome right there. So I'll let one of you guys go next. <laughs> I'm trying to. This is Invaders. Oh, it's an older book. Nice. Yeah, Invaders. I can't see if it's 38, the stickers in the front, but nice. it's an older book. It's uh, 35 cents. So Cool. Got uh, uh, I got Super Sons issue number two. Not bad, not bad. All right, and this was Return of Wolverine issue five, by the way, if you guys are curious. And actually, I just peeked at my next one, so I'll go ahead and show it. We got Venom issue Ooh. number nine, variant edition. So it's kind of neat. It says it's got a $15 price tag, so we're already knocking them out of the park, I suppose. <laughs> so who that? You want to show your next book? Oh, Spider-Man and Howard the Duck. Awesome. Marvel team up 96. Very nice. That's cool. Then this and his book is a near mint. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh I have Wolverine issue number 14. So a nice Jay Lee. I think I remember that run. Alright, let's see what the next book is. Savage Dragon. <laughs> there you go. All right. Number 49. Gotta love you, Samara Clarson, because why not? <laughs> He's been drawing that forever. Oh, yeah. This, this, is a, Savage Dragon. this is a heavier book, but I don't think this is not the giant size box, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> What's that? I have no clue. <laughs> it looks nice, though. <laughs> nice. It looks like it's uh, X Men. But I mean, it's oh, that is a nice cover. That one was Psylocke, um, Gambit and Rogue. It looks like, yeah. I don't oh, think that's... it's a young gun one, though, but huh. it's a virgin, virgin variant. Beautiful, jeez. Nice. All right, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. I have She Hulk Cosmic Collision issue number one. Okay, that's a real nice cover. Awesome. All right. What is in my hand? All right. Avengers Assemble in Humanity 21. So there you go. Oh, I got a good feeling. <laughs> there you go. Another Virgin variant. This is by yeah. Philip Tan. Yeah, I love I love his work. Man, it's a gorgeous yeah. covers. Black, black yeah. suit with uh, Black Cat and uh, Goblin. Yep. Very nice. And those two last two were 25, 20, and 35. Awesome. All See right. Next. next to last book, what you got? See, next I have Amazing Spider Man issue number 10. And this is like some weird, like, off cover where they just, they're like, sh they didn't do a cover, apparently. <laughs> I don't really don't know the story behind that. Good job, Umberto Ramos. They're just like, they're like, ah, we're too lazy this month. <laughs> All right, so this is my last one of box one of two for me. We got Old Man Hawkeye, number eight. Some good old Marco Cacetto. So, got to love nice. that at least. Some good yeah. art at least in there. Yeah, that's real nice. So, there we go. Ooh. Oh, man, that is gorgeous. It's a crane. It's a that's crane. awesome. Clayton Crane, Virgin Crane. Says it's fifty, but I don't know. I don't know which book this is right. from. I don't know what Spider Man <laughs> book. No, I said your last three were pretty solid variants there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. even if you do like half of the cost of yeah. each of the price, it's it's still like twenty five for this one. You know, ten for the other one. So I'm happy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. All right, Specter, what's your last one in box number one? Oh, that looks like a good one. I got. Batman Who Laughs, The Grim Knight, issue number one, and this is uh, this That's is Philip Tan. Yeah, this yeah. is that that really nice uh, Philip Tan uh, homage cover to uh, McFarlane, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has yeah. that. 
and that's actually I think a little worth a little bit more. I think I sold mine on eBay for thirty five. Oh really? Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. COA and everything. Very nice book. Definitely. Yeah, I like oh, how yeah. they put the black price sticker instead of the white one because it's Batman. <laughs> so yeah, pay go. attention to the detail, guys. I love right. it. Nice book. All right. So that concludes round number one. <laughs> we'll get back into the chat real quick. <laughs> real quick, because we got a lot of rounds to go. We got Los in the chat. What's going on, man? He says he's bouncing. And he's already putting those kiddos to bed. We got the comic collector. I just subbed that guy up. How's it going, comic collector? Definitely check out his channel so we can get his channel growing and all that good stuff. He's got a lot of great content. We also have Nick Biller saying, hey, hey, in the chat. And he said, or we got Bake the Snake. He says, I have a bunch of X-Men, but Joe Giant size in mine. And we got JP's Budget Collecting saying, hey, everyone. And we got a poor man's comics. I know he's hoping to see some Unicron variants today. So we can only uh, hope. Yeah, he's, he's looking forward to seeing those Unicrons that he got signed at C2E2. All right, so I'll let you guys go ahead and get started with your round number two. I just sit back and relax. <laughs> All right, I'll just open up this one. Oh, All right. right. All right, that's pretty cool. We got uh, oh, well, Ultimate that one. Spider-Man 103. That's a good Ooh, nice. issue. Clone Saga. All right, I got, it uh, looks like Original Sin, issue number two. Okay. We're building our way up. This is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America, 17. Ah, that's Civil another War. good read. At least you're getting some good reads there, man. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's uh, Brew Baker Epting. That's a great run. Uh, looks like I got Spider-Man, issue number two of uh, the McFarlane run, Torment. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it's minty fresh too. I mean, it's in great shape. Oh, that's I like this Green Laner. Oh, what is that? That's nice. That's a I've never seen Kyle Rayner run. run. Yeah, I've never seen this cover actually. Yeah, me either. What issue number is that? It's it, actually it's it doesn't say because it looks like almost like a variant. So it's like. It's huh. crazy, but it's uh from February twenty uh, two thousand two. Oh yeah, poor man oh, says uh, that's the first appearance of Ion. I thought that kind of looked familiar. Oh so, yeah, that would probably yeah that'd probably be pretty close to the last issue of the uh, Kyle Rayner run then. Oh, before Rebirth. Uh, I got Spider Gwen issue number nineteen. Very nice. Yeah, he might have ran out of Unicron books. So I haven't seen anybody with some in a while. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh man, is Maybe that a Mayhew? Spider-Man six yep. variant. Yep, Mayhew. Those are hot. Yeah, his, his, really his covers are always really. I think they're under variant value in his covers. I yeah, did, yeah. I, I always thought Mayhew was underrated. Like uh, he's he's good, to say the least. Yeah, those they. I'll tell you, they look realistic. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, very photorealistic. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue seven ninety five. This is the uh, second printing, that black cover. Huh. Interesting. They priced that at ten bucks. I wanted to get. I guess that is like the first part of that storyline, though. Seven ninety five. That's a hard book to get um, near mint to. Yeah, with those black sizes. It's fine yeah. to go up real easy on that. So I think this is the last book of this box. All right. So there you go. Nice. Oh, wait, That's that virgin get, virgin variant. variant yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. That's beautiful. Do you like the Addy Granoff version of that cover or the Art Germ version of that? Because they look the same to me. I like this one. Yeah, I agree. I think the Granoff is superior. So that's nice. Yeah. All right. My last book is a Detective Comics issue 1000, and it's a virgin cover. I'm not sure who who did this one. Maybe, Maybe who that knows. That's real nice. Yeah, I've seen it and I can't remember. Um, it's one of their probably their their people who <laughs> we just it's, can't think. It's a nice cover. Not not Philip Tan or anything. No. No. Uh, oh, that's nice. Hey, maybe there's a person in the chat who will know. <laughs> and speaking of the chat, since it's the end of the round, I want to welcome Comic Noob into the chat. He says, "What's going on, everyone?" 
and everyone else just kind of hanging out still. Everyone likes that Green Lantern book, man. That is a cool book. I don't think gorgeous. I have that one. That's nice. Yeah, Comic Collector says, oh, man, that's the variant of Detective 1000 he's trying to track down. So he's stay looking for it. <laughs> stay tuned. And you, might, you might see that at an auction. There you go. <laughs> So and we got Bear Island Comics. He says, I love this. We need more of this. Always like seeing you around, Bear Island. By the way, if you guys want to see a sweet Stephanie Hans commission, check out his channel. Oh my, I thought yeah. it was a print. Like he showed yeah, it with the gorgeous. I literally thought it was a print until he made that video. I'm not kidding. I saw it in person. <laughs> All right. So the beginning of round. I feel like I'm hosting an auction at this point. <laughs> the beginning of round number three. Who that show in a book? What you got? Uh, saga 43. At first I saw not Saga. Bad. I went like You're this like, and I saw Saga. And uh, I was like, oh, is that? I was like, I don't remember number one. <laughs> It's like, is it that bright blue cover? <laughs> I have a what if the X Men had stayed in Asgard, number twelve. <laughs> I didn't what know ifs? they went to Asgard, but <laughs> oh, yeah, that one time. Apparently, so back in like the early nineties. There you go. I gotta. You'll see what. So you'll see this book <laughs> in the auction near you. Hey, because nice. this is the second. This is my there second. You know. cut. But this is actually, I got to find out who did this. This is nice. So, but there you go. Oh, I got two of them. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Uh, next up, I have AVX uh, Legacy, issue number 266. Oh, a nice Mark Brooks cover, it looks like there, maybe. I think that's Mark Brooks' signature at the bottom. Yes, it so, is. There you go. All right. Who that? There we go. Amazing Spider-Man 801. So that's Tyler a good Kirkham. issue. Talon Kirkham cover. Ooh, that's yeah. I think that's the one that goes together with the other yes. one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. yeah, it's a nice connecting uh, cover. I don't care what anyone else says about Dan Slott's run. That was a great ending, that run. I, I highly recommend it. If someone liked that run, definitely give that one a read if you fell off of his run. All right. I have uh, uh, DC Rebirth uh, Super Sons. This is issue number seven. All right, you're on the way to getting your whole Super Sons run filled in. <laughs> Woo! You yeah, there. A few more issues to go. Let's see what else. Oh, I got the another side. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nice. They, they don't go together, but this is the oh. Virgin variant. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Virgin variant. I guess some of it's colored, some of it's not colored. Yeah, it's there pretty wicked are. looking. Nice. All right, I got uh, Black Widow. Uh, issue number one, and this is the uh, looks like J. Anaclato, if that's how it's if that's how it's pronounced. Pretty nice oh, okay. cover. That's nice. I hadn't seen that one before. Miss Marvel looks mad. Yeah, she looks like <laughs> she looks really pissed. <laughs> it's like, don't steal my spotlight, Scarlett yeah. Johansson. Yeah. yeah, this is this is the last one of what is this box three? Uh, yep. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that was oh my gosh! gosh. Serious? <laughs> the whole line. All three. Nice. So I got all three. Coming all right. to an action. I, 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 I would have I I thought this one would have been the more expensive one, but I guess this one is. Eh. Well, you know, honestly, it's up to the buyer. I feel a lot of the times those variant covers are up to the buyers. Like mm -hmm. I know I know I know I value the uh like the the black and white mixed color one. Mm -hmm. I value that higher than the other one myself. Um staying in theme with the amazing Spider Man. This is uh that uh Philip Tan one that you showed a little bit ago. This is just the uh, regular version of it. Very okay. nice. Not bad. It wouldn't be a Spider-Man booth box without Spider-Man book. That's right. <laughs> hey, and I love Spider-Man, yeah. so. There you go. Definitely. I can't believe I got all of the variants. That's freaking that's funny. That's pretty funny. All right. So that is the end of that round. So some more awesome books. Once again, got to welcome. <laughs> One of the architects of the comic book YouTube community. He's burned it down. We got the architect, Sam's Tangled Web. What's going on, man? Always happy to see Sam in the chat. All right, let's keep going, guys. What's next? You want to go first this time? Uh, go? Yeah, sure, I'll go. All right, I have uh, all new X-Men, um, issue number 12. Oh, that's from the uh, Bendis run. Yep. You Look at a lot of the, the PO cover, like the pissed off cover. <laughs> yeah, man. Everybody's mad. Everybody's angry. Yeah. Like, we're only a cover. No. <laughs> there we 
Let's see. I kind of flipped them upside down, so I don't even get to see them until I show them. There you go. Ooh, green arrow, right. nice. Green arrow Ooh. versus black canary. 27. Nice. I like it. Uh, I have uh, She-Hulk issue 19. This is a nice Greg Horn cover. Yep. Pretty nice looking. I need to read that run. I've heard it's pretty good and underrated. Oh, oh another Marvel team up. Nice. Only one spine tick on his black book, so Marvel team up. Good oh, wow. 94. Nice. Like one tick like right here, too. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Like If you can't have that big variant, you may as well get some older books. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what book this is, but I, it's got Venom on it. And they have it valued at thirty dollars. Maybe who that knows what this is? Oh, I'm not sure. Is that from that? Um, uh, it looks like it's a connecting cover too. But I think it's isn't it from the um, what's his name run? It just came out the Venom run. I think that's from that run. But I think oh, it's the Donny Cates Donny Cates run. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. It almost kind of looks like a Clayton Crane, but I kind of can't tell. Mm, no, nah, it's uh, not. A yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he would have his signature at the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's well, not, it almost looked like it was part of a bigger piece of art. Let's see. It, it'll be on the back real quick. Yeah, I'm very curious. Well, doesn't say who did it on the back. Crap. It's an unknown comics exclusive. I don't see. I don't see it marked anywhere on the cover. Yeah. It's like it's a pure virgin, but. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, guys. Well, <laughs> it's an unknown comic, all right. So awesome. Unknown comic. Issue eight, it looks like. So at least we know that. Oh, yeah. We got Iron Man 263. Another nice. near, mint, near mint copy of a book. I like that you, you get the older books that literally like 9.0s are higher. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice. All right, I got uh, Batman Who Laughs, issue number one, and this is that uh, wow. alternate Jacques. Ooh, that's, that one that's nice. Yeah, the one's highly sought after. Yeah, that's a cool book, man. Good, good catch on that one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Love me some Jacques. There we go, another Spider-Man. Slider and variant edition number five. Is that uh, the entire Sinister Six on there? Uh, it looks like it's just, it was well, not really, no. It looks like three of them. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, I'm guessing this is Black Widow. I'm not sure if it's issue one or not, but uh, this is a uh, J. Anaclato uh, version variant. Ooh. Look at that. Man. That's Oof. really nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Or just yeah, cover. One I have not seen. I like it. And then oh. uh, poor man said that Venom was a, it looks like a Miko Soyan variant. Oh, okay. So thank you, poor man. This is my, I think my last one. Okay. Oh, uh, I had this one before. <laughs> this is Clayton Crane. Oh, There's wow. Clayton Clayton Crane. Miles Morales. Nice book, though. Yeah. Definitely. Nice. All right, and it uh, looks like this is part of that connecting cover we saw earlier. It says Black Cat on it. Okay. So this is part of that. Yeah, okay. I can see where Venom would cut off. Okay. Yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah. Very nice. Some carnage on there. Pretty sweet. All right. So I think, what is that, the end of part four of this crazy unboxing? <laughs> yep. Part four? Yep. All right, before we get into the next round. We got, he, oh, he's clanging and banging in the chat. We got Biggie Shaq. What's going on, man? Always love me some Biggie Shaq. He's one of my new favorite guys out there. Always puts a smile on my face while I watch his videos. All right, what we got for the, the fifth round of <laughs> madness here? Let's see. All right. Uh, looks like I have X Force. This is issue number twelve. That was some Phantom X action there. Do, 
That's a speculator tip. If you guys want, start buying all those Phantom X books now because they're dirt cheap. <laughs> True believers. <laughs> Dead fool. True believers. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Piggy Shack, I know he loves him some True Believers, so there you go, man. Uh, I have uh, Detective Comics, issue number 36. Okay, I, I think that's a B cover, if I remember right. Oh, maybe not, because uh, uh, Francis Manipal, I thought, worked on that run, but apparently he didn't work on that issue. Uh, interesting. It's interesting. They have it. They have it bagged upside down, too. Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Spider-Man and Deadpool 38. Ooh, nice. Is that the first uh, whatever X I character? I thought it was like 40-something, something. Something, but uh, I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. I just know it was in that series or something goofy. <laughs> and I have, might be uh, a Deadpool lot. <laughs> Marvel Zombies, issue number one. Okay. Marvel Zombie. Zombie, sorry. Zombie. In, in my rela- reality. <laughs> my reality. Pretty cool looking cover. <laughs> Back in my day, there were multiple zombies. Yeah, not just a zombie. Yeah. Must be a really powerful. Oh, there hey, you got yo, your Super Sons number one. Number one. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Dang it, I need that one. <laughs> I think that's a second print. It is a second print. Is this? And it's got that red background. Nice covers on those books. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, Teen Titans East, issue number 43. Oh, show me this one. Oh, I love that run. That's from the uh, Jeff Johns run. Great read. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, there's some good stuff in that whole run. I, I highly recommend that. We got Hot Shots Domino. This is a oh, this is an Emerald City exclusive. Ooh, this is wow. forty dollars. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's a nice looking book. Wow, that's cool. That's hot. Uh, and then I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe, maybe you know what this is. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> you know, it looks like looks like cable good. and uh, it's not some Ultron? sort of like Age of Ultron book. I don't it? know. I'll open it. I don't know. The Virgin cover. <laughs> no signature. Oh, it's an unknown comic. <laughs> it's gonna uh, be another unknown comic. <laughs> Four Mans is debating the the legitimacy of that ten dollar Teen Titans. I was kind of the same way, man. I'm like, why would that be ten dollars? <laughs> it is an unknown comic. Infinity. Oh, Infinity Countdown issue five. Oh, okay. All right. Pretty All cool right. Looking cover. So I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a variant. Ooh. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you oh. go. Nice okay. book. Hey, a 15 it's cover a, swipe. Yeah, May, it's a Mayhew. Yep. Mayhew. Nice. I think, no, that's not Mayhew. Is that, Mik- is that Miko Soyan? Yeah, that's Miko me. Soyan. I, yeah. I looked at it quick and I thought it was... <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not Mayhew. All right, the last two books made that box. Oh, was that the end of the box? Yeah, that was the end of that oh, box. All right, we <laughs> gotta get something eventually, right? Or <laughs> the odds hopefully are in our favor Tr- before we go into round six. We got a couple more people joined us. We got Brett Hess Art. What is going on, Brett? Always like seeing him in the chats too. He he's one of the best guys out there, and he he finally subbed to me after all this time. We got the comic Smurf, <laughs> Caleb Murphy. What's going on, man? So I always like seeing <laughs> some Caleb comic Smurf Murphy. All right, let's get round number six. We got we to gotta get something. Woo, let's get All something right. in round number six. All right, I got uh, <laughs> trying to figure out which one. <laughs> the Thing and the Infamous Iron Man, issue number one, annual. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Marvel 2 and one. That was a good run. Yeah. Chip Zdarsky. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Ooh, very nice. That's a really nice set. Tyler Kirkham. Yep. Yeah, that's real nice. Underrated, very underrated. <clears throat> All right, I have 
Hanna Barbera Future Quest issue number four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm goofy. All right. <laughs> that one. That's like, oh, why did they get that one? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay, I like yeah. that. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Where direct, are these direct edition. Direct. All right. Next, I have. Uh, what if the page or the age of apocalypse had not ended? I got that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh that man, look at that thing! From is it really from nineteen eighty one? I thought it was like two thousand and one. It looked like the nineties puked all over that cover. Uh, that was it's, it was only a dollar fifty. So wow, you know, a little bit older. There we go. Here's the other cover of that. Ooh. <laughs> right, you getting Man. all those sets. You're getting all those variants. That's hot. So, so that's Venom 4. That's the one I had before. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I, I love that uh, Tyler Kirkham. He does really good work. A on lot easier to sell when you have all the sets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, Iron Man issue number 262. Uh, Ar Armor Wars. All right, so he, you know you got who that's Iron Man run going. Yeah, yeah, I, could, yeah. I got one. Actually, no, I got two because I See, got now one. Before. You're gonna have to send the Super Sun second printing a number one, and you can send him the Iron Man from the '90s, and then you right. can start to collect your sets. <laughs> Let's see what else we get here. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Ooh. that's Lucio, a Perillo. Lucio Perillo. Oh man, that's the Virgin nice. variant yep. too. That oh, is gorgeous. Man. That's that a sweet cover. Sick. Wow. Was very you awesome. guys got me hooked on that Perilla guy during C2E2. And his art. Needed. Yeah, his art is amazing. Yeah. And uh, cool. following up on that, um, opposite of Lucio Perillo, I have uh, the Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number one by Clayton Crane. All right. <laughs> so, so we both had that book. We got a rerun. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! At least it went to two different people. I kind of saw this book. It's it was nothing major, but you got Wolverines. Oh, eighteen. Almost looks like Namor, <laughs> but <laughs> nice. yeah, it does. It does oh yeah. Be. And uh, Mr. Sinister is hungry. So there we go. Is that the end of round six? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, so all right. That means I get the tag on. back in. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> you lead. One. You lead this round. Oh man, I was wanting to go last. No. <laughs> Well, no, you no, can, I, no. You can go last. Yeah, I'll you go, go last because I went first on my other round. But anyway, before before we start unboxing this bad boy here, <laughs> every time we do a round, someone comes in. It is great. So we've got uh, Prowler six seven one in the chat. How's it going, man? And there's some funny comments I want to read real quick. So poor man says that Hanna Barbera book is twenty bucks. Said no one ever. <laughs> and Biggie, Biggie Shack wants to know what the f are you all batting? Or are we keeping score? Yeah, I guess we're keeping score, but not really. And he also says jab, jab, hook, uppercut. I like it. I think we had John's comics with kids. He says this is like the Edge of Spider Verse unboxing here. Too many spider boxes, so I guess it'll be the <laughs> Edge of Spider Box verse, verse something. Yeah. So I'll take it. Uh, we just had DS Comics hop in. How's it going, man? The co-host of that Golden Guys show and the No Faces chat. So a lot of good shows that guy's on. I definitely enjoy both of those. And he says, disqualified, low blow, Hanna-Barbera. Do I even need to say anything else besides that? I love it. All right. I don't know. I got a true believer, so I don't know. That's yeah, true. that's true. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. What do I got? I got some bubble wrap. That's a good indicator, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> I'm not looking yet, so I'll let hey, What's, the, what's the point? I guess, I guess, I guess we should. <laughs> what do you got, Spectre? Let's get this going. All right, I got uh, Venom issue number nine. Sweet. Rerun. Yep. <laughs> Next. <laughs> He's so excited right now. I want to see what I got. It's probably going to be an alt, uh, Transformers, but we'll see. All right, there's that is. one again. Yep. That's that uh, Tech 1000. Yep. Tricked me because I described it. It's I was like, like a big book, yeah. <laughs> it All tricked right. me. Let's see what the first book is. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Oh, boxes, dude! Baby. Congratulations, man! <laughs> Woo! Boxes, baby. That is awesome. 
thanks to the orange bubble wrap for the spoilers. <laughs> he was like, I was like, I got bubble wrap. I was like, oh, yeah. I know yep. what that is. Yep, you got bubble wrap, bro. Wow. There we go. Awesome. So it's found. So there you go. Man, that's awesome. Woo! <laughs> and I just I also bought this yesterday if anyone just just in case you guys wonder so some good juju my way I'm like let's get me some X-Men and then we're gonna do this unboxing there you and go there it is oh that is that's awesome Woo. <laughs> <laughs> breathing heavy the whole time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, oh my god I gotta stop handling it. it's not in my R yet are, are your hands all sweaty now like are you <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's awesome dude Congrats, seriously. Thanks. Um, <laughs> man, it's, it's hard to follow that up. Really. <laughs> here's Trouble. Here's Anna Barbera. There you go, Battle of Adam. There you go. Oh, let me click yeah. on uh, who that's. I was I'll clicking. Oh, that's actually a good read. There you go. Uh, I got the uh, Tyler Kirkham Venom issue four. Nice. Yep. Well, you might have to. I set. guess I got to keep going here. Yeah, what else we got? Oh, I got one of your uh, connecting covers there. Oh, so, nice. Uh, I got a corner if you need yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Miko Soyan, I guess it was. Yeah, Miko Soyan. Nice. There we go. Secret Empire number one. The Stanley Collectibles. Hmm. Not signed, but. Cool. <laughs> I first thought it was signed. That's interesting. I didn't know they had those. Yeah. Huh. You sure it's not signed like in black someplace hidden? <laughs> Nah, he probably would have signed it on his face or something. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> good. Yep. Uh, another copy of the Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number one. Okay. Clayton Crane. Nice. Let me do an auction near you. He must have yep. run out of the virgins. <laughs> yeah. So, ooh, we got some spectacular Spider-Man issue 163. Oh, nice. So, probably around, what, 1990-ish somewhat. So... Like me some old Spidey. Yeah, those are some nice, good old books. Yeah. There we go. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Marvel Comics Presents, Wolverine, Daredevil. I just started reading the comments, and all I saw was John's comments with kids saying, Are you shitting me? <laughs> 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 oh, I just saw that one the other day. Yeah, I've never seen it. The Typhoid <laughs> Mary, Wolverine. Uh, Venomverse, oh, number one, City that's a nice one. Yep. Cool. Nice book. That's actually a great book to get autographs on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, got some Civil, Civil War. War. Secret Wars, though. Yeah. Just last book in here. Oh, don't touch the giant size X Men Civil War. Anyway. <laughs> man, that is awesome. <laughs> Damn, oh, man. That oh, is God, awesome, God, bro. Is book. <laughs> I'm glad we got to unbox it here. Uncanny Oof. X-Men 18. Nice. Wow. All right, my last book is... Uh, it goes to show you, weigh your packages with a shipping scale before you start. <laughs> I think this is... I think it's I think it's Venom 1. Okay. Yep. A that virgin, Clayton Crane? Yeah, Clayton Crane virgin nice. variant. I think it's at Venom. Least they, at least they know the good Clayton Cranes to put on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I got uh, Trinity number 16, guys. There you go. Actually, that is a pretty sweet Jim Lee cover, I will say. Yeah, that. it is nice. I joke around, <laughs> but that is a pretty cool Jim Lee Wonder Woman cover. Hey. All right. All right. I think Spectre has one more. I got <laughs> last oh, I still have another book. Oh. Let What's me your last one. Myself for this one. We got Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine and Ghost Rider 67. Look out. Oh, man. And that does it. So there you go. Boom, that, shock -a -lock, I guess. Yeah. That first book killed it. Yeah. I was, just, was awesome. I was kind of surprised they put that on top instead of the middle. But there yeah, we like go. Yeah, like it did me. They did mine. They did I put it at the back. Yeah. Uh, so that includes round number six. Spectre, you want to go ahead and knock out round? Maybe, who knows? It could be uh, from something else, and you could get it still. So Yeah, let's what, check what it out. What do you got? We'll just click on your screen only here for the last right. part, and then we'll go over Ooh. the chat. and What is this? Get some mylar action going. What do you got going on here? All right, so this is a uh, this is a J. Scott Campbell virgin variant, 
And it looks like it's a wraparound cover, too. One of those. Nice. I'm not sure which book it is, but, yeah, it's definitely one of those Virgin Variants by J. Scott Campbell. Very yeah. nice. You Shot by me, I think, selling that for like $20 to $25. I can't you remember. literally just hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist. Oh, man, I got a, got a uh, Who Dat book right here. <laughs> It's a that's a beautiful nice. cover. It is absolutely gorgeous though. You got Psylocke, Rogue, and Gambit. Is it? A, it looks like is it a wraparound? No, no, it's not. But it's still a really nice cover. And then this one says there's a sticker on it saying it's signed, and it is signed. I know that signature too. Go for us. No. So Miko Soyan. This is a Venom, Venom issue. Number seven, signed by Miko Soyan in gold, right down there at the bottom. Oh, cool. Very nice. Does it come with a COA? No, oh, no. sadly, but I mean, I would think this is legit. Like, I've seen his signature a lot. Yeah, me too. And those guys get a lot of those artists at their booths. And yeah. Stuff, so. Oh, my God. All right, so another signature in this box. Um, this is Return of Wolverine, issue number one, and this is the uh, Incredible Hulk first Wolverine homage cover, Ooh. signed by Miko Soyan as well. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. And then last, but not least, is... <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, this is a Brooks <laughs> cover. I know that. Maybe when you guys know what this is. I would think it's from Extermination, where they sent back the kids. I don't know. That's the that's the last one in the box. Yeah, that, cause it was like they were like picking up Cy, uh, Cyclops' eye. Uh, yeah. Know, like, yeah. So that was that was a pretty pretty solid box. I got two signatures. Yeah. And then this version variant that I'm gonna open up and see what the heck it is because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Dude, at the chat is instructing us to each hold up our giant size X Men's that we oh, won. Oh, oh, my, my, mine's at uh, S C G C. Nice. <laughs> I, this one's. I'm probably gonna do the same thing because why not? But yeah, I guess just to recap, out of what seven? How many? Boy, we had uh, like how many boxes did we just do? <laughs> I'm trying to think. You had seven plus two, you had eight. What? So 17, 17 boxes. Yeah. We, got, we at least got one out of 17 boxes. Right. So. Well, I, we, we got a lot of good, and we got a lot, a lot of good, good variants. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So definitely, obviously I'm, I'm happy with my two boxes and it, it appears you guys are happy with yours. So oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm happy with all mine. Definitely. Yeah, the value, guys, the value is there. So, if you guys are be. curious as to where in the world we actually got these mystery boxes here, I did go ahead and include the link below. I think they just started today. I think I got the email. They're doing a ASM three hundred yep. as their yeah. grand prize for this round. So, and I guarantee and, that one's gonna have less uh, uh, allotted boxes, meaning people not that many people are gonna order them. Yep, because so many people ordered probably the Hulk one eighty one. Mm -hmm. I feel like so, a lot of people ordered this one too. Yeah, well, yeah, I think they did. A lot of people ordered yeah. that one and Hulk 181. That's two hot ones. But uh, if somebody wants to take a chance and get one box, you might be lucky because yeah. I, I guarantee yeah. it might not sell more than 20. <laughs> yeah, I think this, this is probably who that you probably tell me just before. I think this is like the fifth, fourth, and fifth box I've got. And there may be only one that was worth exactly like $30, but usually you get your money's worth and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you guys are wondering, I think most of the chats kind of stay and they can make their own judgments easily at this point, rather this box be worth 30 bucks for them and you get two, it's free shipping. So that's yeah. pretty sweet too. That's, that's, that's the way I look at it. You get two, yep. you get free shipping. So, you know, it's the way to go. I mean, I mean, I don't know how, how much these really are, but yeah, I mean, just that one pays for a box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you can just kind of keep the ones you want. Or, like, you could, if you got that set of three, you could probably sell the two for 30 bucks and keep your third one for free, mm -hmm. basically. Or so, if you yeah. get like doubles, you know, you keep one and right. sell the other one. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So we'll go over the chat here to see who else is hopping. We got Amazing Murphinator. He always wants me to say the line, so I'll do it for Amazing Murphinator. He's like, way to go. News stand. Congrats, bro. <laughs> 
But yeah, Caleb in the chase says, I ordered one when they showed ASM 129. And big shout out to Caleb. I think he said he also ordered this exact same Comic Core shirt. So, way to represent the A show, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> we still got poor man's comics in there. Uh, he said, we got uh, Biggie Shack. He said, I think there could be another banger coming. So, uh, always shout out to Biggie Shack. He's always got some great lines. Uh, we got JP's budget collecting still in the chat. Sam's Tangled Web. John's Comics with Kids popped in at just the right time. Got Los. Prowler 671. DS Comics. And uh, other than that, any final thoughts, guys? Anything? Because uh, I think uh, Comic Core Unlimited's tonight, if I remember right, since Wednesday. Yep. Sure My is. final thought is <laughs> we need to open these. Uh live again together because it's like that's the juju yeah. of getting a grand prize yeah we're <laughs> oh wait i think i forgot to shout out tacoma comics he's the guy who actually hosted us the last time you got your giant size x-men so big shout out to tacoma comics he was he was our witness for the last unboxing and we just had uh jb from discovery bay comics i know he loves him some uh mystery boxes so there you go jb this is what you missed out on buddy so there you awesome. go we just sold some more for this guy. I know JB's going <laughs> to run out and uh, get, try to give him some ASM 300 boxes. So, anyway, last thoughts. Um, last thoughts, man. Geez, just uh, I'm just happy that I got to hang out with uh, two spectacular individuals from the uh, comic book community and open up some of these great uh, mystery boxes. Um, I have I have yet to be disappointed in getting these. Um, I mean, my last – I feel like my last two boxes were fire. I mean – um, you know, I got multiple signatures, hot variants, uh, just throughout. So, it it is what it is. Of course, it's a gamble, but mm -hmm. they 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 do really try to give you the value of the box. And I know for a fact that if you do have a problem, like if you if you get damaged books, or you feel that you just got absolute crap in the box, if you actually contact them, they will actually work with you on all that stuff. They're really stand up about all of it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. And he's quick to answer his messages, too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do that. Anything going on, on your channel? Uh, nothing, but um, still got my contest going on for 500 subscribers. Oh, nice. uh, that doesn't end until June, uh, end of, like the end of June. Um, what else do I have going on? I can't wait to see John Wick 3, uh, which Ooh. is like next week, I think, comes mm -hmm. out. Um, so excited to see about that. I did a few videos. I dropped them off like a couple, you know, a few days back. So you know, people can check out those older videos and um, you know, just check everybody's channel out, sub everybody up, and um, and hopefully we can do this again. Heck yeah! Awesome. Oh, I want to say one thing. Congratulations, Seawood, on getting GSX. Yes, that is awesome. Congratulations. Dude. Congratulations. Seriously, congratulations. <laughs> Oh, we, we, and, and te to be technical, we all had a grand prize. I had the giant size X and Spectre got one of the V3 grand prizes. That's prizes. right. He did get yeah. that. And for, you yeah. got one. So it was like, I got, I got two. I got yeah, two well, of the GPs. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Well, or whatever. It, yeah. We, we've all, we've all won. So, I mean, it just goes to yeah. show you that they're legit. Yeah, I, I, saying I'm trying to decide. I guess I got a GP too because I got a slab on the V3 too. So. Oh yeah, well there you go, man. <laughs> nice. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how they, how they ranked them. You know, they had like some slabs, and they had some other slabs, and they had some yeah. regular books. So I was now, happy. Now they're gonna convince me to get one of those superior boxes now. Oh, man, like, ah, they're worth, another. they're worth it when they come uh, out. I don't I mean. Have you know, I have this show Signature Sundays on my channel, and I don't have a Stanley signature, so I'll probably get suckered oh, into getting one of those man. at one point. So <laughs> you might as well. Get, I mean, if, yeah. especially if it's one hundred fifty dollars in free shipping. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Totally worth it. All right, so that not, pretty not much the sword books. <laughs> yep. That pretty much does it for seventeen. That Spider Man booth boxes. Uh, one last shout out in the chat. We got Ruben Nieves in the chat popping at the end. He says, what's up? How's it going, man? Uh, with that, uh, stay tuned at 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. Here's what you missed, JD Comics. We got a giant size X-Men number one unboxing. Woo! One of 17 boxes that were like this. So there you go. All right. Now signing off. Thank you guys so much for joining us. You're going crazy. Have a good night. Woo!